Hey, how's it going guys? Wonafo here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the best fully working executors after the latest anti-cheat update. And these exploits work on every version of the game, like the normal website version, the Microsoft Store version, and even emulators. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys Nazir V2, which is a fully undetectable executor, and it works on a ton of games like Blade Ball, The Hood, Arsenal, and so much more. So if you want to get it, it's going to be at my website. It's going to be the first or second link in the description. You can just get it from this big red button right here. But yeah, I'm going to go over here to Blade Ball and show you guys exactly how this works. And if you want to skip ahead to the emulator methods, which are going to be later in the video, the timestamps will be in the description. But all you want to do here is go to settings. I'm going to increase my FOV. And yeah, basically how this works is it runs using AI. So it's a really advanced uh, exploit right here. As you can see, I'm just going to have my camera like this. And whenever the ball goes within this circle, so you can adjust that however you like, it will automatically hit the ball for me. I'm actually not clicking my keyboard at all right now. And you can make it as fast or slow as you want by coming over here to the tools tab and enabling the trigger bot with a really, really low delay. So as you can see now, we're in this game and I'm completely AFK. I'm not even touching my keyboard. And whenever the ball comes into this circle, it's going to automatically hit it. So just look at this. Boom, it hits it. If it comes back, it hits it again. I'm completely AFK right now. You can use your abilities. You can do whatever you want. Right now, it's completely just AFK farming this. And then here I am in Arsenal using the Zer V2. As you can see, it's a completely automatic aimbot and trigger bot, so I don't even have to touch my keyboard, and it's just killing them over and over again. All you have to do is turn your mouse. So let's try to find someone. There they are. We just won. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys more of Nazir V2 later on in the video, but moving on to the second method now. This is called Moomoo Moo Player 12, which is a really optimized emulator. So when you first get it, it's going to have an installer like something like this from the link in my description, which again is right here. It'll be in the first link in the description. In all my other tutorials, I was showing you stuff like LD Player or Bluestacks or something, but those use a ton of memory and they can lag a lot. And once you've fully installed Moomoo Moo Player, it should look something like this on the home page. All you want to do now is go to the second or third link in my description. It should bring you to this site and you can choose which executor you want to get. I'm going to use Delta for this video because it's a lot simpler in my opinion. And then once you get to the link, just copy it go back into Moomoo Player, and before you actually paste this anywhere, the first thing you want to do is click on this button right here in the top right, click settings. You can basically make this however you want to make it run as smooth as possible, but the main thing you want to do here is make sure that you're on the Vulcan mode or the high performance mode. And the best part about this emulator is you can make it automatically tuned to your own PC and make sure it's running as smooth as possible. And once you're here, click on tools, click on Chrome, and paste in your link that you just copied from your main browser it should bring you to this site right here click on it and then in a few seconds here it's going to download delta 605 or it might say 606 or something download it and once it's downloaded you can either click this top right button or the open button here just wait for it to finish here it's going to be a few seconds okay as you can see it says open now so i'm going to either click on this or click here and if you click here you could just click on downloads it's going to bring you to this page and then here you can open it up just by clicking on it once. Click on either update or install. So it should either say update or install right here. It's going to install the app. Click on open. And here it goes. As you can see, it's completely loaded right now. And the best part about this is now I can use any script that I want. I can make it full screen here by clicking the F11 key. And now it just looks as if I was playing on a normal PC. As you can see, I'm getting a full 50 to 60 FPS consistently, and that's while I'm still recording this video, so it, won't, it might be even higher normally. There's no lag at all, it looks completely normal. Now you can go to any video on my channel, let's say I want to do the Blade Ball script video I just did 9 days ago, you can use the Red Z Hub from this video. Go back in the game, click on Execute Clipboard once you've copied the script. Go back to the game, and here you go, you loaded up the script completely fine. So as you can see, you can use any PC or mobile script on this right here. It works completely fine, way better than any other emulator at the moment. And if I go into my task manager and show you this, as you can see right here, Moomoo Player is using only 108 megabytes, which is less than my recording. It's one fourth that Discord's using, so it's literally using no memory at all. And just to show you how this works in the game, very, very smooth. The ball just gets instantly parried. I mean, this is just kind of like credits to the script, not really for the... Uh, method but still pretty cool to show you guys and yeah i mean if you just saw this right here besides having two mouses which you can turn off in settings um this looks like a normal pc exploiting experience so for now roblox said that they're not going to be adding a mobile executor or a mobile anti-cheat sorry for a really long time 
because if you didn't remember, the first time they said they were going to make a buy fraud on PC, it did take them around 8 months to fully implement it, so it might take around that same time to get a mobile anti-cheat. So for the next about like half a year, you're going to be able to exploit completely fine. Anyway, pretty cool script here. That's not what the video is about. You can go check out my Blade Ball video if you want to see that. And the same thing goes for Codex if you decided to use this one. And by the way, Vega X Mobile will be coming out in the near future, so be prepared for that. I'm going to try to have the least amount of keys possible. But yeah, as you can see, I can just use Codex the same way. Get their key here. It should bring me to this page. Uh, Codex 605, yup. Go back into the game, or into the emulator, sorry, and paste it in the same way you did with the other one. Boom, paste in the Mediafire link. Download this download anyway so the same thing as we did for the delta you could just do the same process and then once it's downloaded here it does take a little bit and you probably want to uninstall roblox first by the way if it's ever giving you any errors when you open up the game just hold on to it drag it up to the top confirm and once it's uninstalled you can reinstall it the same way so codex there we go install and then it should say open it's so simple here. The best part about this is you never have to enable any an disable any antivirus. You never have to like change your settings. You don't have to worry about your PC errors because well honestly these exploit these uh emulators aren't running on your PC. It's running on an emulated version of a phone. And here I am on my use Vega X account. I can load up into any game now. We could do uh, natural disaster survival. Click play. And I think the UI on this is a little bit different. So let me show you how to use this. Alright, so I'm not really going to go into an in-depth guide on how to do this, but they do have a little bit of a longer kind of key system on this, which is why I'd recommend you guys use Delta for now, but I'm not going to show you guys this in this video, but you get the idea. You just copy the link, go back to your browser, paste it in, and then just do the key system from there. But yeah, so I'm going to close out a Moomoo player here, and if Moomoo player for some reason is not working for you, you can always refer back to my other video where I showed you how to use Bluestacks. And Bluestacks is mainly for like better PCs and it does run a slightly little bit smoother if you want to use it. You can also use LD Player, which I showcased in that video as well. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the video. It's made one month ago called How to Exploit After Anti-Cheat. So if you want to check that out, as you can see, I'm using Bluestacks in this video. And yeah, Moomoo Player is fully optimized for Roblox specifically. So it's a really, really good emulator. I definitely recommend you guys use it. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is for me to showcase on the emulator methods because it's pretty straightforward. So moving on now to the Nazir showcase I was going to show you guys earlier. I'm just going to like go over everything that they have here. I'm not going to necessarily showcase all of them, but as you can see, they have an HWID spoofer, which basically means that if you for some reason ever get banned on Roblox, they do sometimes hardware ID ban you, which means that they ban your computer. And if you use this, it's going to completely spoof your, your hardware ID, making you completely unbanned. You can fix the UWP glitch, which if you don't know, if you're on the Microsoft Store version, your mouse kind of like glitches. They have a color aim bot here, of course. They have a trigger bot, which is you have to enable this to use the blade ball cheat, by the way. And it's pretty cool. You could change the delay. The mouse auto clicker is pretty cool for simulator games. Of course, that's just a normal auto clicker. But the best part about this is it's in early development and pretty soon they're going to be able to add scripts for like blocks fruits for pet simulator 99 stuff like that because as you can already tell here it uses ai and you can actually collect data with it so they'd be able to make like a configuration for specific games let's say you're trying to do pvp and blade ball they can make an aimbot for that they can make an auto farm for blade ball which is going to move around for you and automatically kill mobs so yeah, this type of cheat right here using the, it's always going to be improving. This is definitely the future of where exploits are going. If the Roblox anti-cheat continues to update, you can do aim assist, which is kind of like a more legit looking aimbot, kind of like a controller aimbot. If you ever played any games that do that, you have the settings tab here, which just has your key bind. If you want to do an aimbot key bind, I usually have mine set to E and then you can go to tools here and check this box that says must have key bind down. You could also change the AI confidence. I think if you change this up, it's going to shoot more when it might not be the enemy. And then if you have low AI confidence, it's going to only shoot when it knows for sure that it's the enemy. I like to keep this at around 70. And yeah, so as I said earlier in the video, this uh, version of the executor is going to be up and available in about three, two to three days, something like that. If you do want to get the premium version of Nazur, which has no keys on it for lifetime, just click this button. It's going to bring you to this one cheats website. And then all you want to do from here is click on sign up on the top right. Sign up with your uh, name, email, password, whatever. And then once you go over here to the store, 
It's gonna load here for a few seconds. Click on Roblox. Click on Nazur Key Bypass. And if, just if you buy this, make sure you're using the code 1F0. I'm gonna type it into the search bar here. 1F0. And until Nazur V2 gets released in a few days, this is what it's gonna look like. So it's pretty much the same. You have Miscellaneous with uh, Trigger Bot, Aim Assist, kind of the same stuff. But around Christmas time is when they're going to be adding the new color aimbot, the AI system that they have. They have the configurations, so you could do like the hood, you could do um, pretty much everything. You could do blade ball, you could do, you can make your own sheets for other games like blocks, fruits, PvPing. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can. And if you need any help with anything, make sure to join my Discord server. The link will be in the description. And as always, peace.